No one can curse what God has already blessed. No one can place a curse on things that God has already predestined, already preordained to be blessed. Hi, this is the Wonder Shoes with 2Q Live Lessons. And today, we're going to talk about being blessed and how if we're blessed, we don't have to worry about the curses of the enemy. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. People say, don't pray for me. I think it's an old saying or something that came from way back when when people tell people, don't pray for me. Don't you pray for me. I don't know what you're praying. I don't know. But the thing is, it doesn't matter what that person is praying. What matters is, is God listening. God is not going to allow someone to curse you when he has already blessed you. It blows my mind when people don't want to accept the word that God has sent them. They don't want to accept the message because they want it to come in certain packages. They want it to look a certain way. They want it to be someone close to them. And they want it to be someone that they feel confident, knows what they're talking about. But let me tell you something. God can use anyone to give you a message. It doesn't have to come from the pastor. It doesn't have to come from the deacon. It doesn't have to come from the Sunday school teacher. You can be riding down the highway and God can put a billboard up and have a message on there just for you. And you know it's for you because it will prick your heart. It will prick your mind. It will prick your spirit. God knows what your message is. And trust me, no one can curse you unless God allows them to. When we're saying things like, don't pray for me, what good is that doing? Because that person can still leave and pray for you. They can get in their car and pray for you. They can pray for you in their minds. They can pray for you anywhere they want to. You can't stop a person from praying for you. If God lays it on that person's spirit to pray for you, they're going to pray for you. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Today, I was headed to work. I got into my car and the spirit was so heavy. It was so high. And God began to just come in and just fill my vehicle. And I was praying. I said, God, I was just praising. And I said, God, just thank you, thank you. And God told me to pray for and bless every car that I met. And every car that was passing by me, I was just putting my hands out saying, bless, Lord, bless, help, heal. Take care of whatever situation it is that this person has going on. And it was just awesome. And I thought within myself, I said, you know what? It's amazing how God will send people to pray for us. And we don't even know that they're praying for us. I didn't know those people I was meeting in those cars. I don't know who they were. And I probably will never know. But the Lord laid it on my heart to pray for them. He said, pray for every car you meet, every person you run into this morning. And I was praying for them. And it's amazing how a person can be in a whole nother state. And the Lord will lay it on their hearts to pray for you. Sometimes you'll wake up at night with me. And the Lord will speak to your spirit and say, hey, go pray. Go pray for this person. Pray for the sick. Pray for the shedding. It's the same premise when you're praying for people or people are praying for you. It doesn't mean that everything they ask God to do is going to come to pass. When they're led by the spirit, it will. But if a person is trying to curse you, that curse, it doesn't matter what they're praying. It doesn't matter what they're saying. What matters is if you come into alignment with it. And if you've already been blessed by God, there is nothing that that person can do. When you look at Balaam and the donkey or Balaam who wanted to curse the children of Israel, he wanted to curse them. He wanted to curse them so bad. He had taken money to go curse them. He was headed to go curse them. God would never allow him to do it. When he got there to curse them, he blessed them. When he headed out again to curse them, an angel with a flaming sword stood in his way. He stood in front of his donkey and wouldn't even allow him to pass. So he couldn't even go curse them. He said, when they asked him about it, he said, you can't curse. Or I can't curse what God has blessed. So when you're saying things like, I don't want you to tell me what God said because I don't know what you're saying. Or, don't pray for me. Don't pray for me. I don't know what you're praying. Well, God knows what they're praying. It doesn't matter if you know. Because there have been people that pray for you, your grandmother, your, 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 your mother, or whoever, or your neighbor, or the person down the street. You don't know what they pray. You don't know what they pray. So please stop that nonsense of, I don't want certain people to pray for me. Or, I don't want you praying for me unless I'm present. You can't always be present when someone is praying for you. God may lay it on anybody's heart to pray for you. And if I were you, I would accept my blessings. I would accept those prayers because you may not be able to pray 
the prayer that that person can pray. Because they may can get a, as the old people used to say, they may get a prayer after when you can't. So stop saying that. Stop worrying about someone cursing you. Stop worrying about them praying things that you don't agree with. Because if you don't agree with it, and it's not what God wants, you're not going to get it anyway. So this has been the one issue with two cute life lessons with a real, real quick run through about the importance of accepting prayers when they are led by God. No one can curse what God has blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video.